Hi, today we're going to see how to add charts to a Notion page using rows. So the first thing that you will need to add charts to Notion is going to be a Rose account. So you can go to rose.com and sign up for free. And then by creating your own spreadsheets, adding charts to them, then you can sync them back to Notion. So let's see how that looks like. So we're inside the spreadsheet in Rows. In Rows, we make it very easy for you to import data from third-party tools, for example, from Google Analytics. So this is the example that I'm going with, but it could actually be just any table of data that you created inside the spreadsheet. Right? So here we imported the data from Google Analytics and we outputted a table with a report, in this case, number of visitors and page views of a website. And let's say that as part of your marketing team weekly sync, you want to embed this to, row, to Notion, right? So the first thing that you will do is you need to create a chart. Here inside insert, we will add the chart here. And this is where you can customize it. So you see that now this is a chart inside the Notion, the row spreadsheet. We'll come here and say weekly website visitors and page views. Then you can customize this. You can add a line chart or a bar or a column. So a lot of the things that you normally expect from, from a spreadsheet. So let's say that I wanted a line chart. I'm gonna go ahead and change some of these colors here to make it this gray and this black. And then there's actually more customization that you can do. Let's say that I wanna add a description to this chart. So to let my team know more about this. So you know we're seeing fluctuation in the number of visitors. So we're going to add here, you know, there, there, we can say, you know, there is no obvious seasonality. This is how we will add additional information to the chart. And then a footnote, you know, data from Google Analytics imported daily. Okay. We can also add a footnote here and you see that it adds some more contextual information to the spreadsheet. So this is it, this is what we want to customize. Let's go ahead and close it. And now let's move that to Notion. So you'll come here and actually create this on this menu bar and let's embed it. So you know, to embed it, first we need to share the spreadsheet. So we'll come here and share privately with the link. Nobody will have access to this link only if you share it with someone. And this is what we will use to embed the spreadsheet. So now you see it's shared with the link. I can go back to embedding. I can come here, I can either remove the watermark from rows or keep it, and I'll come here and I'll just copy the URL here. Now, the only thing I need to do is come to my Notion page, paste it, and now click Create Embed. And you'll see that in real time, this will create this beautiful embed with rows. You see here, it's all here, the title, the description, the footnote, I can extend it, it looks beautifully on the page. And now there's a direct connection between the spreadsheet and the Notion page. So if I over here, you can see the data points. And if something happens to the data, even if you manually updated it, or if by an automation it updates, it will also update in the chart. So let's come here. Let's say that this number actually changes to 600. You see that there's a big spike here. If I go to my Notion page, it's also here. Right, so you really have a direct connection between what's on the wiki, what's on the Notion page and the spreadsheet. And this makes things like report, automations and dashboards really come to life inside your Notion charts. And this is it. So this is how you do it. It's quite simple. You can do this in, under the free plan of rose.com, just signing up. Obviously, I can come here as well and do the other customization. So changing the type of chart, it also changes in real time. I can add multiple elements if I want. I can actually also embed the actual table. So just to see here as an example, I'll come here and I'll embed this as well. And this is interesting for you to consume large amounts of data. So you see here now there's a connection, you can scroll through it. So you really make your reports more alive here with embeds. Yeah. This is it, I, I think this is clear. If not, you also can come here under the documentation in rows. If you type embed, you'll see here how to embed tables and charts in Notion. This is our guide on how to do it. It basically walks you through what we just did here. So thank you very much.